Hey guys, welcome back to Knife Review. In today's video, we are going to be doing a review over the Kershaw Clash. This is a very affordable EDC knife from Kershaw. Its price tag comes in at around $25. I picked up mine on Amazon for $25 exactly. And what's really nice is it actually does feature Kershaw's Speed Safe Flipper. So giving it a slight press here, it's just going to flip out just like this with almost no pressure at all. When I first picked up the knife, it was a little bit stiff, so it was a little bit hard to actually get the flipper with one finger to go down. But after flipping it a couple dozen times, it actually broke in and became much more smooth when opening it and when closing it. The blade on this Kershaw Clash is a drop point and it's also going to be partially serrated here and this partial serration is going to be great for cutting things like rope or cardboard and the actual blade itself is actually relatively sharp. As far as steel we have the 8CR13 MOV steel which is going to be a Chinese steel which is definitely very average and nothing too crazy but we definitely expect to see something like that on a $25 knife. But the blade is finished with this really nice black finish, which actually seems to be holding up relatively well after doing some light tasks with this knife. And I'm actually pretty impressed at how it's actually standing up. The overall length of this knife is 7.375 inches, and the blade is actually only going to be 3.25 inches. So this is actually a nice blade length for an EDC. And the size of it really isn't too bad when folding it up and putting it in the pocket. Speaking of pocket, the pocket clip is available to be switched so you can carry the knife tip up or tip down. And it's really nice to see this feature on a very affordable knife like this. This knife does feature a liner locker, uh, which seems to be very solid. Kershaw doesn't seem to have any problems with these failing. Uh, it's super easy to just move out of the way and close the knife. It's not very tight like some of the more affordable knives that you're going to find. The Kershaw Clash does have some really nice texture here on the grip and when you open it you can see it has pretty good ergonomics here and does fit the hand relatively well. So if you're doing some slashing or some stabbing, your finger is not going to go over into the blade of the knife. On the blade of the knife it's going to say Kershaw Speed Safe and then if we turn it over on the other side we can see that this knife does say that it is made in China right here on the blade. And for $25, of course, we expect this knife to be fully made in China. So I've been using this knife for a couple of weeks and it's a little bit duller than when I first got it. I have not sharpened it at all. So we'll just take a piece of paper here and cut it and see how this knife does. Let's give it one more cut here and see how it does. And as you guys can see, it does do a pretty good job of cutting paper just like that. It's not too sharp and it's not too unsharp either. Overall, this is a very affordable knife and I think you really can't go wrong for $25 if you're just starting to get into knives and you're looking for a nice EDC knife. Kershaw's Speed Safe Flipper is pretty nice and fun. I find myself opening up this knife and closing it all day long. And it's just overall a very decent knife for only $25. If you guys are interested in current pricing and availability, I will have a link in the description down below where you guys can check this knife out on Amazon for around $25, like I said. But that's all I got for you guys in this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up down below. And of course, make sure you hit that subscribe button and then you'll be notified every single time I upload a brand new video just like this one to my YouTube channel. If you guys have any questions about this knife, make sure to leave it in the comment section down below. I will try to answer them all. But like I said, that's all I got for you guys in this video. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.